up right here, fans, walking to the ring. He comes down from NWA Wildside, but he only represents himself. He's David Young, and there is the IPW Television Champion, the OBD, the bad boy, Jeff Bradley. Bad boy Jeff Bradley, the original Dudley Dudley, easily one of the most technically gifted and easily one of the most violent wrestlers on the IPW Hardcore Wrestling roster and the IPW Television Champion. I tell you, I haven't talked to him about it myself, but the rumor has it the reason he came back and went after this television title instead of the hardcore title is that he knows everybody knows how hardcore he can be, but he wanted to show to everybody he doesn't have to be in hardcore matches to dominate. He doesn't have to be in hardcore matches to be a champion, and he's proven that ever since his first match back here with IPW. The one thing I can say about the original Dudley Dudley Jeff Bradley, since he's won that television championship, as a matter of fact, since he's come back from Puerto Rico, he hasn't missed one IPW show. We know where his loyalties lie. No, I don't want to be a huge choke slam on David Young, and that's just getting started in this match. Now, Jeff Bradley, I don't care or know where his loyalties lie. The truth is, we can count on him being here and defending that IPW television championship every single show. That's why it's a TV title. That's why he's on TV more than anybody else right now. Jeff Bradley, a fighting champion. David Young, he's mixed it up with New Jack. He's been an NWA World Tag Team Champion. He came in here with Wildside, trying to tear apart IPW in the state of Florida. Like I said, right now, he seems to have forgotten his way of the wild side. He's joined the chaotic cult here in IPW. And neither of these guys may be fan favorites, but you're going to hear the fans cheering anyways, because as I've said many, many times, we have smart fans, and they cheer sheer talent. At Valentine's Vengeance, special Friday night show, February 8th, you can see David Young and the original Dudley Dudley. And come in IPW Hardcore Wrestling making their debut, the tag team independent sensations, formerly from ECW, Christian York and Joey Matthews, they're going to be taking on Quickie Mart for the Florida Unified Tag Team titles. That show is going to be incredible. Oh, stiff kick to the gut there by Jeff Bradley. Looks like he might be going for a DDT maneuver. Oh, but nice Michigan suplex there by David Young and nearly gets the three count. David Young, he's got a counter for every counter. He almost gets destroyed and finished himself, and then hits it, like you said, a perfectly executed fisherman suplex, and takes the ODD by surprise and gets a good two and a half count. And there you see people right now just fell off their chairs because Ron Nimi and I could both name a fisherman suplex. No, you could name it, and then I could steal it and say it again. Well, yeah, but you were listening to me, which is a first here in the IPW Weekly Recap. And there you see fisticuffs going at it there, David Young on the top rope. But, oh, oh, look at this. I haven't seen that before. Takes a groin shot, turns it right into a, well, I see, look at that. I screwed, I knew the fisherman suplex. I can't even come up with that maneuver. That's the Dudley driver. Okay, I knew it was something along those lines. But the Dudley driver, not enough to put away one David Young. And, Ron, we were talking about that Quickie Mart match. I tell you what, everybody thought they had the toughest test of their careers when they beat your boys the Shanes in a cage a few weeks back. But going up against a team like York and Matthews, this very well may, their, may be their biggest challenge to date. It is going to be a huge challenge. They took the belts from the Shane brothers, but now they got all the top tag teams coming right. in from around the country. What's coming up there? Oh, misses the second row elbow there. And you don't really see Jeff Bradley going up on the ropes very much, and maybe that's why. Jeff Bradley is not a high flyer. He is not somebody that should be coming off the top rope, but he can do it when he needs to. He can do the tight rope walk a la Undertaker across the ropes, but he doesn't need to be holding their hand when he does it. Drops a perfectly executed elbow right from the middle of the ropes. You know, the spoiler used to walk across the top rope, too. Did I tell you about his feud with Mr. Florida? No, he did, but I don't care to hear it because there's a perfectly executed spine buster on ODD by David Young. Great, great spine buster, a la Arn Anderson. But as I was saying, the spoiler was feuding with Mr. Florida, and they had this big thing with Sir Oliver Humperdinck, but it just turned out to be Paul Jones under the Mr. Florida mask, so that kind of killed everything. I don't care, everything. Aaron. You just almost missed an IPW television championship title change, and I think David Young is signaling for this somersault. Looks like, oh, well, I thought he was no. signaling for a 450 splash, but it was a moonsault. Bradley almost got his legs up, but he caught some of the move there, and both men are laying on the ground hurting as we speak. I thought it was going to be a somersault and end up being a moonsault. All I knew it was going to be some type of salt. Yes, Ron, we all know you like salty products. And looking at the bandage on the face of one Jeff Bradley, you have to wonder if he's trying to mimic me from all those weeks I had to wear that bandage here on Weekly Recap. No, I don't think that's what he's doing. He's actually bandaged up because of the brutal wars that he engages in IPW. Huge missed dropkick by David Young. Yeah, that can't be good. A little out of focus. Whoa. Oh, big loaded forearm there by Bradley. One, two, three. 